Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, XR Hammer, and I'm going to be playing a brand new game for you to my channel. It's called Portal Knights, and as you can see, well, I should hope you can see, it's very Minecrafty, Terraria, styly sort of game. It looks awesome, and I was playing it for a bit, you know, not ages, I think a few hours, and it really is a good game. Like, you know, it's got similar mechanics to like Minecraft, stuff like that. And Terraria, you hit the trees, you get wood, you get seeds, you get resin from, you know, all of that good stuff. I did build this house, it took me ages, <laughs> I'm not even going to lie, it really did take me ages. But I've got all my chests set up, which is pretty cool. You can store all your stuff, send it all to your chest. A lot of things are stackable, a lot of things only stack to like 50, which is dumb. Because your wood stacks to 50... But your blocks stack to 200, I believe, or your dirt stacks to 400. I think everything else goes to 200. But, yeah, guys, it's loads of fun to play. I'm playing as a ranger. Let me go over here. Because I thought, you know what, I'm not going to go with the warrior. I have got a warrior set up, but I thought I'll go with the ranger this time. Should be fun. And, yeah, guys, what this game, there is quests to do in this game. And the whole, like, day cycles, you can't control. There's no possible way to control it that I know of. You can't sleep as such and make it daytime. So it does become very hard to navigate. I'm going to hopefully compensate with that and maybe brighten it up while I'm running around. As you can see, you've got just random enemies coming around. It does auto-lock. You can swap your... Well, your vision. You can go from first to third person. Just like so. And, yeah. It is lots of fun to play, guys. You just have to let me know down in the comments if you want me to, you know, play more of it. If you guys want to see more of it. Because I do believe me and Munchkin will be playing a fair bit of this game. Because it's loads of fun. Right. So, all that being said. Now that we've got, like, your basic mechanics. Let me just jump in the house. You have got different crafting stuff. You've got a furnace where obviously you can craft your bars and stuff like that. You can do smelting. And then you've got your workbench where you can make all sorts of good stuff. Cotton cloth from cotton. You know, it really is like a, um, a gathering game. It really is like you just need to keep gathering all of your stuff up. And then build what you want, really. I mean, it's awesome. Oh, yeah. Having seen the home, I've got, because I made myself, a lovely little garden. Because you can become essentially a farmer. Look at that. It's beautiful. I think all of that's about ready to harvest. But it's all good. I'll do that in my own time. Right. What are we going to do? I believe, because there is a limited time events that happen. Let me just go over here. As you can see, up uh, on the left hand side, you've, I've got two events active. One's the pillars and the temple, which there's 11 minutes. I probably wouldn't complete it. So what I'm going to do is try the grunt army. And now I have no idea what it is. Hopefully, I just have to kill a load of stuff and it should be all good fun. So yeah, guys, the loading times, loading screens seem to take forever. So I'll just hit travel now. It's like magic right and i'll show you just the beginning part of it you have to wait until that entire bar's full right so i'm going to cut this bit out and i'll see you all when we're at the second island way and we are here all right so that uh little event i need to defeat 10 greenhorn grunts and defeat five leader grunts so, let's crack on with it. And I'll show you at the end, guys, once I've done this. Oh, you can take full damage, so just bear that in mind. Um, yeah, every little island has something different to mine and stuff like that. Wait. Wait. Oh. No, stop running away. Ah, oh, these grunts. Come back here. Wait. 
And yeah, guys, this, right, when you kill an enemy, they drop all of their loot, so to speak. Right, but they also drop their XP. And I'm not going to lie, I have lost XP due to this because it fell off the side of the map. Right, which is not good. Whoa, dude, stop it. Yeah, it's not good. So just bear that in mind. If you go into, you know, go leveling up, try to make it so your enemies are fairly close to you. Oh, I must say, if I'm playing a ranger, I really love him. <laughs> Genuinely do. Just for the fact that you can get that initial damage, you know, from afar. It's lovely. All right. Oh no, did I get two of them? No, it's alright. I do believe the enemies aggro. And there are some enemies that are, you know, they're just friendly, they're quite placid. And then you've got other enemies that will just attack on sight. It sucks, but it is what it is. Right, let me shoot him because he looks like he's going to jump off that side then. That would have been sucky for me. Haha. -ha. Yeah, guys, it is a lot of fun. You know, it's a lot of you need to farm to get your stuff. I did quite a lot of farming last night. Or it seemed like a lot. You know, like you can beat the plants up, get cotton and cotton seeds. So you have to replant everything. Let me just sharpen up all my equipment. Is that a leader? Yes. I thought it was. You could tell by his armour. Haha. And yeah, guys, dodging and stuff really is key in this game. But, ow. No, dodge. Haha. -ha. You thought you had me. Little do you know, I am a master marksman. <laughs> uh, so much fun, guys. Oh, yeah, there's a whole. Well, wrong button. Leveling system. Which is awesome. You get your main stats for each hero as such i mean it's not character specific apart from like this it increases damage of your ranged attacks and only the ranger can equip bows and for your strength increases your melee damage that would be for the warrior and then where is it movement speed i think is for everyone constitution is for everyone wisdom mainly for your wizards and I believe intelligence, yeah. You know, because if you're playing as a wizard, there's three classes you can play as. So you've got the warrior, the ranger, the wizard. Wizards, obviously, you're going to want a lot of intelligence. You want your spells to do a lot of damage. And you want a lot of mana so you can keep doing it. You do get talents. So at the minute, I am a bow specialist. You can swap these at will. So let's say you run around, you find a really nice slingshot. You can swap over to that. You deal 25% more damage. And then this one, so far I've got it increased damage dealt by 25% if you haven't moved in the last 5 seconds. Can be useful. And fading, you know. They've all got their different skill sets. So, what do we need? We need to kill this bloke. You can score critical hits, which is cool. Every time I score a critical hit because of my armour, I'm gaining health back. It's like a lifesteal. Like that, that's the green numbers popping up. So, but yeah guys, it really is a fun little game to play. I believe me and Munchkin will be playing a fair bit of it, if I'm honest with you. Whoop, wee. And I say, one thing I did think about, because you can play online, right, which is awesome. But, as I said with the experience thing and it dropping off the map... I was thinking, right, because if somebody's playing as a warrior, they are naturally going to be right in the enemy's face. Alright, so if I get a kill from this far away, because they're already stood in front of them, you know, as a warrior should be, I'm going to lose that XP, which kind of sucks. I need to see if it works like that, or if we get individual loot drops. I'm not sure. I really am going to have to... Have a multiplayer game and see if that's the case. Because if it is, that's kind of sucky. I mean, it is really. 
Haha. Yeah, but hopefully that's not the case. And wow, that hurt. That's the thing about playing ranged characters. You always tend to find that if you get hit, that's it. It's never enough game over. But then again, that's why they have increased dodge and movement speed off the bat. Beautiful stuff. Right, there is a leader there. See if I can get some initial damage. If I can aim. <laughs> there is a thing called aiming hammer. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice, nice. It's going very well. I haven't found or haven't gained the ability to make a new bow yet, which really sucks because I can make better swords if I was playing as a warrior. I can make, I think it's just mainly the warrior stuff I can make now. Like, but yeah, I'll get there. And then I'll be doing more than 37 damage. Hopefully. Like that, guys, right? And you can also drown. So, if you jump in the water, you have to make sure you can get back out. Pretty sharpish. Really. Oh, there's a chest. But you do get nice rewards for, you know, potentially drowning. <laughs> Wait. Ah, beautiful. Right, let me get over it. Can I make that jump? I don't know if I can. Oh, I can. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, I need to kill two more leaders, and I can go and give Ricky his wooden sword. Because, as I said, there are little random quests for you to complete. You could just talk to the NPCs, they'll give you a quest. Normally something silly, like he wanted to become a portal knight, and he wants me to find him a sword. So, I had to run, make a, well, yeah, make him a wooden sword. Is that him? Is that Ricky? Ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. Jellyfish. I might have to try and build over to him. Or I can just run around the back and jump over that way. Hopefully, these aren't aggressive. Oh, that's Nick. Oh, he's a ranger. <laughs> well done, me. Oh, wow. Again. Ooh. It's like a light to swim. Bloop, 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 bloop. Right, beautiful. Anyway, let's crack on. We've got two more to kill. Is that one? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, and those are the portals. All right, because obviously, the game's called Portal Knight. It'd be a bit silly not to have portals in them. And you have to construct the portals because they're not all fully built. And so... I will show you in a minute. They drop. Whoa, dude. That's just harsh. Leave me alone. Oh. Are you gonna? Yes. Winner. Whoa, dude. Get back here. Stop it. Wow, he's gone. Oh, no. <laughs> Manic combat. Right, I need a leader. Ah, uh, senior. No think you're gonna hit me. Oh. Ow, dude. That's just rude. Pack it in. <laughs> right. It is insane, guys. Honestly, it's it's a really well made game. I've been wanting to get it for a while. And yeah, guys, those blue portal shards or portal stone shards. Uh, what you can do at your crafting table is turn them into portal stones, which you need to repair the portals because that wouldn't have had it there. It just would have had six little spaces for me to put portal stones. You know, fairly simple. Well, very simple, in fact. Uh, right, I need one more leader. Show me a leader. Is he a leader over there? Yeah, I think he might get aggressive. Or can I... Yes. Winner. Haha. -ha. <clears throat> and yeah, guys, for completing quests, they give you XP, money, you know, sometimes items, your typical quest completion stuff. 
But I don't know what these event ones give you. As I've never completed one. I've never attempted one. So, it'll be a learning curve for all of us. Oh no, my bow's damaged. That'd be why it's taking so long to kill him. <laughs> right. Awesome. So where do I turn that in? Over there, maybe? I don't need to talk... Well, I do need to talk to him, but I'll do that another time. Haha, <laughs> silly grunt. Oh, no, he's going to chase me now, isn't he? Right. Oh, all three of them. Wow, dude. Haha, <laughs> see you later. Uh, now they're all up there. I didn't really think that through, did I? Come on. There we go. What? Why am I so dumb? Can he not track me up here? <laughs> Just full on cheese it. Whoa, now he can track me. Am I stuck? Um, I think so. Alright, let me get out of there. That is not a good place to fight. Dudes, what? Just let me turn my quest in. Ow. Right, I've got him. That's good. Right, I'll just leave the other two for now. Let's go and talk to Ricky. Yeah, yeah, this will work. Look out, monsters. Future Portal Knight coming your way. There we go. 600 XP, 46 gold, and I just need to give him the sword. That was it. Beautiful. There is a merchant. Are you the nearly dead one? Nope. <laughs> we'll be soon, though, my friend. Ow. Come on. Beautiful. Right, don't... Uh, drop some of my gold in there. That's all good. Anything nice? No. <laughs> I mean, you can buy and sell stuff, but I don't think it's recommended early on. What's that? Didn't even know I had that. Or is this what I got from completing that quest? Ah, let's go and have a look. Right, what did I get? A recipe for a Grucho mask. So, I need to put that down here. And a recipe for a sombrero, because everyone needs a sombrero. Right. Yeah, guys, look how dark it's got. Like, so quickly as well. Right, I learned how to make a sombrero. And how to make a Grucho mask. So, yeah, guys, that is Portal Knights. It's an absolutely amazing game. And if you guys want to see more of it, just let me know down in the comments. I believe me and Munchkin will be recording it. But if you want to see more solo play, then, yeah, guys, just let me know. And, yeah, that's going to finish off the episode i really hope you all enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like and a comment down below and i will see you all in the next one peace out guys